Hey, what's up, guys? Ivan Three Stacks here. I got a treat for you. These are my babies. I love the Constellers, and because of that, I love the Satellanites and the Yangzins. The Yangzins like the Vylons or creations of the Constellers, and the Satellanites are their big brothers. Um, and I'll let you boy. I'm not doing no uh, metal full stuff with this. I'm not knocking the deck, but I will say this. Nobody really wanted to play with my deck until the Metaphor engine came out. And to you guys, I'll kind of say that you're riding the train just doing what everybody else does. Um, me personally, I like my Yang Zins how they are. I've been running them for two years now, and they've never done me wrong. And I'm not going to do that to them and kind of butcher them up. So I will say that pure Yang Zin is the best Yang Zin for me, in my personal opinion. Not here to argue. I'm just, I love the deck, and I give it that respect that it's meant to be a synchro control deck. So we're going to show you guys how Yang Zins roll by themselves and they still pack a punch. Three darkness. This guy does what the deck really needs you to do. First turn synchro. Then we've got three light because light comes right back from the grave for you. And he combos off with creation and your brightness. Three fire. Beefing up your synchros. Now we've got immunities. Three earth. Your stuff is immune to battle. Three water. You want to make your synchros with water so that way the only thing that can hurt them is the solemn quadrio or brigade strikes and warnings are the only thing that can hurt a synchro that was hit i mean that was made with water reason being is because if the monster is not properly synchro summoned it does not get the immunities so if you're not using a solemn on them the synchro that i make is going to be able to just walk all over your back row and then i've got one wind if you can make a yazi unaffected by spells and traps and can be destroyed by battle his natural ability, he can't be targeted by card effects, so you're going to have to hit him with the monster effect that does not target, which makes him overpowered. And when you can make a Yazi and a Chao Fang, you've got almost nearly game there, because you can't even use monster effects to get over the Yazi that's immune to everything but monster effects. So you got to do it with my Chao Fang first, and we've got Secret and Zephraxi, or Secret Treasure, however you want to call it. Um, I prefer to call most of the Yang Zins by their kind of like their recruitment, not their actual name. Their names are cool, but I just like calling them like their elements, you know, what they actually are. Because they kind of are just the reincarnations of elements. That's how Sombre wanted them to be. And uh, Constella Sombre left them to pretty much watch over the world after the Sacred Serpent left. We've got Triple Path, because you'll start making weaker and weaker synchros when you run out of your good stuff. When you run out of waters, when you run out of Earths, your Synchros are kind of bullcrap, and they're not really worth the resources they cost. So you want a Yang Zing path for your good stuff, so that way you can keep making strong Synchros. Really good. And then uh, two Dark Hole. Dark Hole is amazing in this deck because it doesn't hurt you. Um, sometimes Dark Hole actually helps you more than it even hurts your opponent. So it's pretty amazing. Like, you know, if you want that that one floater that you needed, if you want to get to Jiao 2 faster, do what you got to do. Uh, two Twin Twisters, I'm liking it at two in this deck. Um, this deck can make some pretty beefy synchros that don't really worry about spells and traps. So sometimes Twin Twisters is not even necessary. And then we've got Triple Creation. Creation is the MVP of the deck. It is like the best card. It's the playmaker. It's the once you make your synchro and it somehow dies, you can make another one right after that. During your opponent's main phase, by the way. So it's just wow. I'm loving creation. It's been the best trap since the deck ever even came out. Um, and the deck originally came out without Yazi. <laughs> so it's even better. And I think that we're getting that new support soon. So um, this is only going to get better. But triple creation. You've got to run it at three. It's just such a powerful trap. It never misses timing. And we've got a triple strike. Because strike is just really, really good in this format. Um, I was surprised that it didn't get hit, and I know Konami does not like everybody running something as three in almost every deck, but for now, we're going to run it until we can't run it anymore. And uh, two breakthroughs. The deck, um, you can make some synchros unaffected by spells and traps, like I said. So the deck really just worries about monster effects, because you've got the protection from everything else. Even battles, so you're not worried about big beaters, you're not worried about back row. It's really monster effects that can outdo your synchros. And then we got a set of mirror force, storming, quaking, and drowning. Um, this is just, um, I could have ran like three quakings or two in one, but I just wanted one of each because I like all their effects. Um, the warning, because warning's good. Bottomless, uh, torrential, skill drain. I need to get an ulti. 
Once I get an Ultra Skill Drain, the only common in this deck would be Secret, and I can't do anything about him. And the Vanities. Um, you want to make a board with Skill Drain and Vanities up. And I actually had Starter Spark in my extra deck for the longest because of the lockdown you can get with Skill Drain and Vanities. Just constantly protecting them with Starter Spark, but unfortunately, I only have one Starter Spark, and it's in my Laval deck because I turned them into a Starter's deck. So extra deck, let's go. Three brightness, the MVP. Um, you really, the best way to make this guy is on your opponent's turn. Yang Zins do have that effect where they can synchro summon during your opponent's main phase. So they are amazing when your opponent tries to go off, set up his board, reestablish. You kick him in the balls and sit him back down on his chair with your brightness. And this guy is also your playmaker. Once you make him, he makes all of your other synchros. So you want to try to go for him first because after you make him, it's like an investment. You'll get everything back. Uh, two evil. Evil is very broken. You want to make this guy as invincible as possible. Sitting on him, he's just disgustingly good. Uh, the Shao Fang, because he's amazing. If you make this guy the right way, he's invincible too. If you can make him unaffected by spells and traps, and he can't be destroyed by battle, and he's negating the monster effects depending on the matchup you're playing, you've got every attribute for every deck, so trust me, he can lock anything out. Skill drain on legs. This guy can win games all by itself. MVP. Then we've got Trish, BLs, because BLs is great. Scarlight, Black Rose, Clear Wing. I mean, uh, yeah, Clear Wing, because I don't have Crystal Wing. Sorry, I just don't. I'm going to get them, but for now, I'm just running Clear Wing. Goyo, Armades, Mr. Herald, and Tatsunoko. So, yeah, guys, um, this is pure Yang Zins, like I was saying. <clears throat> so, shout out to my real Yang Zin fans. You feel me? The rider dies. It's faithful with them. So, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this. And this is to basically show you that pure Yang Zins are still powerful. God bless you guys. Be safe. Have a good day. I have three stacks out.